Yo, what is up guys, Kevin here. Jet Set Radio 3 is on its way to be released in late 2026. So while the devs are cooking, I think it's a great time to share our thoughts and what we would like to see in the new Jet Set Radio game. Everything I talk about is going to be important, especially the last two subjects, so stick around until the end. I think I want to start this video off with my favorite character from the series, DJ Professor K. It would be cool if they made him into a playable character. Maybe you can unlock him after beating the game? I know they did this with the Game Boy version, but we all know that doesn't count as it was not a good experience. As for his role in the game, I think he should just stick as the game's main narrator, just like in the previous games. I don't think he needs to do anything outside from being the narrator and the DJ of the game, but it still would be interesting if he had some part in the plot, but nothing too crazy. Moving on with the other characters of the game, we need more characters. Not only do we need more mainline story characters, but it would be cool to have side characters that may not have anything to do with the story itself, but they still can be unlocked at any time. With optional side characters, it makes exploring the different areas of the game a lot more fun and satisfying. Like imagine finding a cool character that you can unlock when you find a secret area of the map. I think it would also be cool to see some cut characters from previous slash unreleased games. Another awesome thing that the developers should do for the characters is having character customization. The character customization doesn't have to be anything too crazy or deep like what you see in Fallout or Cyberpunk 2077. I would be just fine if the game gave you the option of choosing different outfits for your characters. Like imagine playing Yo-Yo and you can switch between his new outfit with his older outfits from Jet Set Radio Future and Jet Set Radio. Another thing that Jet Set Radio 3 should have is the ability to have at least one fully customizable character where you can give them different hairstyles, outfits, skin tones, height, etc. So you're basically making your own character. And speaking of customization, let's talk about the graffiti. The previous games gave you the option to customize your own graffiti, but it wasn't the best and that's to be expected because Jet Set Radio is a console game. The controls for customization is very limited. But since the new game is being released on many platforms including PC, we need more fluid customization. I think it would also be cool if players were allowed to upload images from their computers to use as graffiti without having to use mods or whatever third party application there is. Imagine all the potential with that feature. You're going to get a lot of cool art and a bunch of like funny looking graffiti. What we should also be able to customize are the inline skates. Imagine being able to unlock different looking skates by completing challenges or finding them in hidden parts of a map. Or what if the game just lets us customize how it looks like being able to change the colors, patterns, and the light trails. Alright, enough with the customization. Let's talk about the different settings. Obviously, the game will be a lot bigger, so the maps will be bigger, which means a lot more exploration than the previous games combined. I think. Hopefully. It better be. Japan will definitely be the main setting, but it would be cool if you're able to explore different regions of the world, like how in the first Jet Set Radio game, there were maps based in the United States. I think New York would be a great additional setting for the game. A lot of you may not know this, but New York is the origin of hip hop and graffiti, so it would make a lot of sense for the main characters of the game to travel there as long as it ties in with the story. And yeah, it would be a good way to pay homage to the city that made hip-hop, which is the culture that Jet Set Radio is borrowing from. In addition to having more places to explore, I think what this game needs is more interactivity. I know you can like run through boxes and bother the NPCs and things like that, but I want the world of Jet Set Radio to feel more alive. It would be cool if we can occasionally see our group members skate around for fun as we traverse through the different parts of the cities, and you can do challenges with them for fun anywhere and anytime you want. Just adding more things to do in each map, as long as it makes sense in the game's context, would make the world of Jet Set Radio feel more alive. Now, let's talk about the music. What is Jet Set Radio without its awesome soundtrack? Hideki Naganuma is definitely coming back but I think it's time for the spotlight to be shared with other producers. Jet Set Radio is a game that really expresses diversity within their cast, so let's do the same thing with the music. I would love to hear other talented artists and producers. 
It would also be cool if the developers gave more indie artists a chance to have their music in the game. It also makes sense to do that anyways because in the lore itself, Jet Set Radio is a pirate radio station. So featuring music that isn't seen as mainstream, such as music from indie artists, is a good way for the game to have a bigger library of music. So that's all I have to say for the soundtrack. We already know it's going to be amazing, but how about the story? I think the plot for the new game should be a little different. We had world domination for the first two games. Maybe we can have something like, I don't know, music aliens threatening to steal a sacred vinyl record and if they take it, the world explodes. I have no idea, but I know the guys at SEGA can think of something. So yeah, I hope they keep the story wacky and crazy. I don't want the story to be too grounded in reality. Okay, I need to address one of the two problems that Jet Set Radio has. So the first elephant in the room is going to be multiplayer. The Jet Set Radio multiplayer has been mediocre at best. I want Jet Set Radio 3 to have a proper multiplayer mode with awesome game modes and the option to play campaign with your friends. There is just so much opportunity with a proper multiplayer mode. So that's all I have to say for the multiplayer. Now I want to address the second elephant in the room, and that being the live service. If you guys don't know, Jet Set Radio 3 is going to be a live service game. First thing I want to mention is that we need to stop the trend of making games live service. Live service is literally just an excuse to have developers slowly release content over time when the content should have been there on release. Unfortunately, I don't think the developers of Jet Set Radio are going to change that anytime soon. So the best thing to do is to give them suggestions and ideas. So right off the bat, I don't want this game to have any dumb microtransactions. One of the best things about Jet Set Radio is the ability to unlock things through exploring the different maps and completing challenges. Having microtransactions would really take away that charm and make exploration not even worth it. One last thing that I want to mention is that I don't want the game to die because of a greedy company. We've seen way too many games die because of greed. Look at games like Halo Infinite for example. I do not want the new Jet Set Radio to end up in the grave because of greed. Anyways, that is just my take on Jet Set Radio being a live service game. There is a big chance of Sega seeing this video, so leave your comments down below to share your thoughts and ideas for the new Jet Set Radio game. I'm also trying to reach 1000 subscribers, so if you enjoyed watching, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate everyone supporting me. Thank you and see you guys next time. Peace.